It's been seven years since I changed my life. And I don't mean changing the way I act, changing the people I'm around, or even my emotional health. I mean changing myself physically. This transformation of my body has significantly altered my life. After all, I went from a kid who was very insecure about himself and was very antisocial to a kid who can express himself in a classroom environment and be very motivational in many cases. So when you look at my title, it has the word desire in it. And I need to show you guys something. Basically, in my childhood, I was very, very big. In fact, you can consider me obese. My BMI was way over the normal BMI, and I really wasn't satisfied with my life. So going to the idea of desires, I knew that I wanted to change myself. I knew it was time for me to get better. But truth is, how can I really change myself? Or like, how can any person be so motivated enough to drastically change the way they look? The whole point of change is that it's something we all have truly want to do, but it's very difficult to pursue it. But to be, to be honest with you guys, I was really depressed. I mean, it felt like I was unique in a way. I mean, for an example, in elementary school, we would run the Pacers. I would tend to run only two to three laps. A lot of my friends would tend to run 20 to 30, 40 laps. It made me feel like I didn't belong in the classroom environment. It made me feel like I wasn't necessarily good enough, if anything. And in fact, a lot of the times I would get bullied. So many people would call me fat. So many people would make fun of my uh, stomach. So many people would make fun of my mantids. It truly impacted me tremendously. And in fact, it made me feel like I was a lonely flower in a society filled with normal people. I wasn't normal because no one really wanted to consider me normal. People would make fun of me consistently and it really altered the way I thought and the way I think. So I knew it was time for me to change. And so then I went on a diet. I knew that the first thing to get better, to change who you are physically, you need to have a good diet, a good plan. And truth is, is that I started to take out a lot of carbohydrates and focusing on a, taking as less calories as I could. I tend to exercise more and burn more, burn more calories than I eat. That significantly was a very difficult process, but I managed to pull through it because I had the desire to change myself. And in fact, when I think about it to this day, that all that hard work, I ended up losing around 50 pounds, which is to a lot of people, incredible. And it's a great journey and it's, they you know, wish me accomplishments. But truth is, is that even still to this day, all that hate and all that negativity that I faced in my childhood, it still has influenced me a lot mentally. In a sense, I felt like I was happy because I was satisfied with myself because I, I'm fit, you know, I'm in a sport and I truly was happy with myself. But also in a sense, I wasn't happy because all that hate and all that negativity really got to me and made me realize that not everyone's gonna treat you equally nor treat you right in life. And so even still to that point, I was so happy. When you look at these photos for an example, you can see I'm very satisfied with everything about myself. You know, I was able to socialize a lot more. Yeah, I have insecurities, but I was able to take those insecurities and turn them into positives and trying to socialize and trying to put myself out there more. And even still, like I've met new people and I felt like I was more confident in myself, which is something that many people can say, to be confident about yourself. So then it came down to this question by Alan Watts and his poem, what, uh, If Money Was No Object. And he says, what do I desire? You know, one of the biggest things I learned from my journey of weight loss is that what did I get out of it? You know, what did I accomplish? When we have something that we desire, it means we want to change ourselves and leave our old self in the past, which is something we're all not willing to do or commit because commitment can also be good and bad. And also it can be very scary because you don't know what could ha potentially happen in the future. But to be honest with you guys, because I was willing to commit, I was able to change myself and for the better. I mean, to look at myself from elementary school to now, I've made so many significant changes in my life. I mean, like I said earlier, I've met new people, became much more social, and again, I'm able to express myself in a lot of classroom environments and be a very advocate about a lot of things that I say. So when people do say, look at me now, and they take a really good look at me, a lot of people 
see that I'm very passionate about the things that I do. And that's because whatever desire I have in my life, I'm willing to fulfill it. I'm willing to be motivated enough to pursue it. And so when it came with weight loss, something that is a very difficult process and not many, not many people are able to maintain it or even pursue it, I asked myself this question, what do I desire? And in the end of the day, am I truly happy with myself? No. And will I ever be? Who knows? But the truth is, is that I was able to change myself for the better. And looking at myself now compared to years in the past, I'm truly satisfied with myself and I couldn't be any more happier because I took my desire of losing weight, I pursued it, and I came out of this obstacle with a positive reinforcement in a sense. And intrinsic, intrinsic motivation is something that we all have in our, in, on our insights. But it's how you pursue it that really matters the most. So I wanna ask you guys, what do you guys desire? Are you guys willing to commit change? Are you willing to become better and willing to let go who you were before and to pursue something new that you may never know could happen? Thank you so much.